and welcome to my channel. This just arrived yesterday and I haven't opened it. And I thought it might be something that you would be interested in. Okay, so here we go. That pretty tightly. It's really weird shaped parcel. Okay. See something. It's just more packaging material. I don't need it. Okay, here it goes. Okay, it's stuck. I got the wrong end. So let's turn this around. Let's try this end. Here it is. Okay. So you can see what it should be, but it's still just more material here and here. Oh, this is beautiful. So this is a parcel. I got it on eBay and it was pretty cheap. So I don't expect it to be really old but I love the handle and I think this is something that I would restore and make it into a really pretty Edwardian parasol. Let's look at it more carefully. So the handle is really pretty with this kind of floral pattern. The upper part of the handle is a little bit worn, but that could be repainted. Okay. The underside has this pretty pattern, but the fabric, um, here, yeah, it says nylon. It actually reads nylon in here. So I can be sure that this is not very old. And also, I can see that there's a plastic part in here. So, this is actually a good thing because now I'm not worried that I will destroy some really precious antique thing when I'm restoring this. I'm going to use these old nylon pieces for pattern and add some, I don't know, cotton, silk lace, all the nice things that I can find in my cupboards and make this into a parasol that's really pretty and that suits well with my costumes. First thing to do was to take the parasol apart. I removed the handle and then started ripping out the cover. At the center, both cover and the undercover were sandwiched between tight metal eyelets. Those proved to be too difficult to pry apart, so I just cut the fabric around them. The eyelet rings themselves slid off easily. The structure was pretty dirty, so I spent some time taking out as much of the grime as I could using water and some cotton buds. I added all the chipping old paint from the handle to be able to repaint it. To get an antique-like finish, I decided to make my own paint. This was partly due to my ongoing antique sewing machine restoration project that also required similar kind of paint. I mixed a bit of linseed oil with shellac and stain. For the stain I used black powder stain that I tinted with orange as the black was tinting towards blue. 
My shellac was ready-made solution and it was more runny than what I expected. To get thicker paint I added some bits of raw shellac and let them dissolve. And before you ask, I didn't have any recipe for my paint and I can't give you one as I didn't measure any ingredients. The finished paint was working very nicely. It dried in a few minutes so it didn't take very long to add a few coats. I transferred the pattern from the original covers to paper. I then proceeded to mark my pattern to white silk. I needed 10 triangular pieces for both covers. I marked down 5 and then folded the fabric down to cut them from the folded fabric. I sewed the seams of the silk canopy and pressed the seams all in the same direction. This bobbing lace that I found at the recycling center made a perfect decoration to the edge of the canopy. In order to fit it to the circular edge, I ran a gathering thread to the inner edge and gathered the inner edge slightly. After sewing the lace in place, I zigzagged along the edges of the diamond pattern of the lace. I then proceeded to cut out the silk along the diamond pattern. At the same time with the bobbin lace I picked up about 10mm white satin ribbon. I decided that this ribbon would look pretty if I folded it and sewed it next to the lace edging. I tried fork pleats but my forks were too big, so I made my own little fork out of some plastic to make narrow pleats. I decided to use cotton lawn for the undercover, under canopy. As this didn't have a lace edging, I started by hemming the fabric before cutting the triangles out. After that, I constructed the undercover the same way as the silk cover. attached the both covers to the eyelet rings that I had cut out from the old canopy. Luckily these stitches didn't have to be neat as none of them would show in the finished parasol. Now I could slide the cover and the undercover in place and start the slow work of attaching it to the ribs. I started with the undercover and used sturdy thread and fastened the cover to the ribs right next to the shaft and then at the middle of the stretches. Then I moved to the upper silk cover and started working on it.
After the middle parts of the both canopies are fastened, it is easier to work with the parasol partly closed. After the outer rim of the canopy was done, there was a lot of fixing to be done as some of my earlier stitches were pulling. When I was happy with how the silk canopy looked, I could attach the rest of the under canopy. To be able to close the parasol, I made a tie that closes with a button and a buttonhole. I had some scrap pieces of silk left, so I decided to make a protective case for my parasol. A small piece of cotton twill at the bottom will keep the parasol tip from destroying the cover. Now I finally finished with this umbrella slash parasol. It's a bit big for a parasol, but I think it's pretty. I have a little bit of trouble with my camera because my memory card ran out. So I don't know how much of this last stage went on video. But uh, I made this little pretty case for my parasol out of the silk that I had left. So I used the leftover lace and left leftover ribbon and made this kind of simple case with a drawstring. And I enforced the tip with some cotton twill so that the sharp metal end doesn't break it so easily. Here is the finished parasol. I also made this kind of little tie with a button. This On the inside is just plain white cotton but I like that the ribs don't show now we just have to go outside and 
see how it works with a costume.